Hi GITV, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand and I have got some very special news for you today. Because coming up on October 22nd, I am helping host an event that is thrown by Jet from Desert Fox Fields and Giant Airsoft, as well as Airsoft GI called Bob the Axeman Zombie Extravaganza. I'm very excited because I've played a number of zombie games and they're all hilariously fun and scary. So I was pleased as punch the moment Jet called me and asked me to participate in this, and let me tell you why. It happens on October 22nd, goes from 6 p.m. to midnight, which is awesome. It's at Desert Fox Mount Fields. Desert Fox Mount, yeah, that's right. Um, I've, I haven't played there in a long time, but it is pretty awesome. It is going to be quite a large field to play at, and we're going to have a safe house to base our zombie incursions from. I'm very excited because I want to have a house I can blockade myself in with lots of ammo and shoot a bunch of zombies. <laughs> Who wouldn't? So, more of the rules uh, I should discuss now. Uh, first of all, AGs will not be allowed at the event. AGs will be provided because they will be on the field scattered for you to find. Basically, you're going to be walking around with your gas, gas pistol, spring pistol, or spring shotgun with uh, one to two extra mags. You've got to put the rest in the safe house. And you're going to be moving around the field completing different objectives. And if you happen to find an M4 assault rifle or an AK, huh, I guess you're better armed now. But another thing which I love about this event, it's the big reason why I signed on, is that melee weapons are not just allowed, they are recommended. From what I've been told by Jet from Desert Fox Fields and Giant Airsoft, is that people who survive, or at least the people who um, were well known for surviving when all of their compatriots were dead, make great use of any number of nerf melee weapons or other foam covered melee weapons. I will be taking an axe and a tomahawk, uh, but any other uh, melee weapons are suggested because don't run out of ammo. So check out the rules uh, online, uh, they should be up on airsoftgi.com as well as the signups. They're already up there. Now here's the thing, there's a limit of 30 players. So for the first 30 who sign up, it's going to be one heck of a night and I will be honored to play by your side. For the people that don't get to sign up, got to get on the web, got to get to our walk-in store as soon as you hear about these events. So check it out on, uh, on our website and check it out in our walk-in store. It's going to be one of the coolest events in a long time and I really look forward to seeing you guys there. Check it out. It's Bob the Axeman's Zombie <gasps> Axtravaganza. I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this is GITV. I'm Deputy Joe LaMonaco. On behalf of the LA County Sheriff's Department in association with Airsoft GI, I want to remind you that your airsoft guns can be mistaken as actual firearms in public. I also want to remind you that never, ever take a firearm near a school.